Let's get into this week's rankings with the man tasked with ranking the top 25 teams in the state for state champs. His name is Scott Bernstein, and you can find his updated rankings every Monday at statechampsnetwork.com. How you doing, my friend? Good, man. So much great football being played in the mitten right now, uh, at least in the, the time that I've been covering the state. I can't think of a a more, uh, you know, the, the power is so spread out. Yeah, it really is. It's and wide open. It's not as concentrated in, in uh, Metro Detroit yeah. as it's been in, in other years, which is great. Seeing on the West, seeing, you know, teams from the West Side play great. See teams from the Lansing area play yeah. great. Yeah, I know. It's great. And let's start with the Davis and Cardinals. The Flint uh, area. That's right. Genesee County. They climbed a notch this week from 7th to 6th, right on the precipice of cracking the top five. This is an offense that has scored 83 points over the first two weeks of the season, beating the defending two-time Division II state champs Warren D. LaSalle in week one, and a Granville team that was fresh off knocking off Grand Blank. What's your take on the cards? Lots of playmakers for uh, Coach Weingart's squad. I get the feeling this is a team that's going to be kind of a throwback to those, you know, that state champion squad, the, the team that made it to the championship game the, the, the year after. Uh, check a lot of boxes when it comes to the stuff you need for long runs in the state tournament. Sawyer Glennie is playing great at quarterback. A.J. Hill at running back. Jackson Dosh at linebacker. Um, just, you know, another young guy to look at. Uh, look for Ben Nichols on the line. They got a lot of pieces uh, and, you know, they're scoring the football, they're executing, they're playing great defense. Let's not forget about Carter Harriman, uh, you know, their linebacker that's just a sideline a sideline side, side to sideline sensation. He's a wrecking ball uh, and, and is the quarterback of that defense. So just love what I see from Davidson this year. I expect them to push into the top five uh, pretty soon. <laughs> well, let's, let's move on to Roseville. Did not think we'd be talking Panther football at least this early in the season, but you've got them at number 21 in the state right now. We forget, though, this is a team that's coming off a seven-win season, carried themselves to the district finals before losing to the eventual D2 state champ in Warren D. LaSalle. They come out of the gate with a 41-0 blasting over Rice, and now they just beat Romeo. What's in the water in Roseville? Two great wins to start the year. Uh, Coach Snowden and those Panthers are, you know, they're building towards something very special, not just this season, but I think as a program. Last year, you said they got to the district finals. The year before that, they won the district. Right. Snowden's got them to relevancy and then even more. I mean, now they're they're trending towards being a, a, a MAC conference power, a D1 hub. I mean, you never thought of Roseville as a recruiting destination, but they got a lot of D1 kids. Uh, they got a really nice quarterback in, in junior Jordan Symes, but then you got, you know, the kids that are going to be playing on Saturday. Just a lot of talent uh, when you're talking about Roseville, Des Stratton, uh, B.J. Weatherby at running back, Elijah Parker at safety, Houston Eubank, another one of these wrecking ball uh, sideline to sideline sensations at linebacker. Uh, Eric Slater is a guy that I love as a split end. Dead Strout, and I mentioned him before, he plays both ways, just does some really special things uh, as a two-way player. But I, I th this is a team that, again, didn't have much relevancy. Uh, you go back to the early 2010s, they made a couple playoff runs in a row. But then, you know, it, it, it was, it was a, a dry season there for most of the 2010s. And now with Coach Snowden, I think this program is really poised to be a top MAC squad. I wouldn't be shocked if they make it into the MAC red in the next couple of years. 15 seconds left. Just a, maybe a couple teams that we begin, obviously, a lot of response to our rankings. Maybe some teams that are knocking on the door. Northville, I really like this year. Lapeer, I really like this year. Grand Rapids Catholic Central, great win over River Rouge. We were talking off camera, a little bipolar relationship with River Rouge. They were, uh, you know, in the in the teens, and then they pushed into the top five, and now they're back in the teens after getting smacked by GRCC. But you know, I expect to see all three of those teams make their way into the rankings pretty soon. Check out the State Champs Top 25 at statechampsnetwork.com. Just click on the rankings tab on the homepage.